What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hello, I'm Savannah and it's so nice to have you. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about why I look like a psychopath right now. So, <laughs> I know that sounds like so abrupt, but if you guys saw in my last vlog that I posted, you know that I got chin Botox and I basically just got it because I had some lines in my chin that appeared whenever I would like make certain expressions so whenever I would laugh I would smile or really just anything and it really just drove me crazy and since I already had a Botox consult planned I went ahead and kind of like showed her that and I had no idea that Botox would be even be an option for that I almost thought it was kind of more like a filler situation and if it was the case then I wasn't going to do that because Filler is way more expensive than Botox and to like keep that up is just like way, way, way expensive and I just didn't care about it that much. But whenever she told me that Botox could help the situation, I was like all over it. Um, especially because it wasn't going to require that many units of Botox anyway to kind of fix the problem. So I went ahead and was like, look, like this drives me crazy if this is something that's going to fix it and like make me more secure I guess I know it sounds silly but we're human and we all have things that we like don't like about ourselves and if there's something that we can do to kind of like minimize it or get rid of it as a whole then I feel like we're always all over that so I was all about it and I was like look let's just go ahead and do it so we started off with four units in my chin and about three days later, I literally could not smile anymore. And I'm sure you can tell when I'm talking. Maybe not because I'm a little bit far away. I'm going to come close. And you can see like whenever I'm talking that my lower lip almost makes a frown motion instead of like a smile motion. I don't even know how to explain it. I'm not educated on the muscles in the lower face or Botox at all. Um, this is mainly just like a video to kind of help you if you are looking into getting Botox in your lower face to kind of be like hold up you know figure out everything that's gonna go into it first and what else it could affect hello Dad? yeah sorry right about that <laughs> anyways as I was saying was um, the reason I'm making this video is basically to just kind of give you guys a heads up because I totally did not see this coming at all. I am a very expressive person and the fact that I can't smile anymore is like driving me crazy. And I know right now there's so much going on in the world that's like so much more severe. And this is honestly just like a lesson learned. Like honestly, it's funny to me now. I'm laughing about it. Um, but I will say I'm very thankful that like at this point in time, I don't really have to interact with anybody other than my family or go to work or take pictures or like anything like that. So I'm like, so 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 thankful that I'm just like at home and not going anywhere I don't have to talk to anybody but I wanted to film a video and it sucks because this is like the perfect time to be making content and watching videos and I'm kind of reluctant to do that only because of the situation at hand and I probably should like not care that much but I don't know and I don't even know if it's something that you guys even notice unless I point it out or what but I wanted to just make a video about it because if you are looking into getting any type of Botox in your lower face, I think that you should just be aware. Make sure you ask all the questions, what else it could affect, what other muscles it could affect, if you're gonna, if it's gonna make your eating weird, your talking weird, all of those things. Because another thing that I've also noticed is when I brush my teeth, since my lower lip sits on, like when I open my mouth, even whenever I just open my mouth, like that my lower lip sits on my lower teeth so I've found that like brushing my teeth is kind of weird and then another thing that's like the worst is whenever I eat so like I showed you whenever I open my mouth my lower lip sits on my lower teeth so it kind of gets in the way whenever I'm like say I'm eating a sandwich I like go to bite down I'm not like biting my lip but I'm having to like awkwardly move my lip and luckily I only got four units so it's not like that muscle is like so tight to the point where I can't even control it um, I can still move it I can still feel it all those things but unfortunately I'm just gonna have to deal with it you live and you learn I can't really smile I feel like I talk weird maybe not I think just certain words sound weird coming out and then like brushing my teeth eating honestly 
it is what it is I'm gonna have to just like wait it out unfortunately with Botox you can't have it dissolved you can't have it reversed it's just it's already in there and you just have to kind of go with it luckily since I got such a little amount I'm hoping that it doesn't take long for it to wear off. Botox usually lasts around four to six months, I believe. Don't hold me to that. I'm pretty sure though. Um, and I don't think it even depends on how much you get. I think it still lasts four to six months. But during that time, it is slowly dissolving. It's slowly going back to normal. I actually watched a YouTube video about this because I was like freaking out. I had no idea that this was going to happen. And the doctor in the video basically said that it is going to probably be about a month to six weeks before it starts to go back to normal, which I can handle that. <laughs> I'm inside anyways. We're all in quarantine, so like I can totally handle that. But I just wanted to make sure that I let you guys know how like the results went because I remember mentioning in my vlog that I was going to let you guys know. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much the reality of it. I can't smile. I'm trying so hard. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. I am truly trying so hard to smile, and I can't. And, um, you know, I don't know. It's honestly funny. It's such a joke now. I was kind of, like, scared about it at first because I was like, what the heck? Because that was kind of before, like, all of this got pretty serious, and I was still going to have to go to work. And I was like, I don't want to interact with people because now whenever I talk to people, I'm constantly like covering my face or if I'm laughing, I'm covering my face. Like anything I'm doing, I'm kind of covering my face because obviously I'm like insecure about it now. So it's just whatever it is what it is. But I wanted to just make this video so you guys could see if you're looking into getting it. Just be aware. I'm not saying don't do it because maybe, I don't know, maybe just maybe the person that did my Botox put it in the wrong area. Maybe they put it in the wrong muscle. I have no idea that honestly could have been it because I just don't think that there's any way I'm sure there's tons of people out there that get chin Botox because it's a big thing to get like the dimpling in your chin gone and if that's gonna affect somebody's smile I really don't think that that would be like something that people would consider at all I would never like I would way more have or I would so much rather have the lines on my chin than not be able to smile so <laughs> I'm like regretting this so much and I guess this is a sign that I should just be happy with what I have and what the Lord has given me but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it was really short and it was more so just like me giving you a heads up if you're considering getting this done or you can just watch it and laugh at me I don't even care I've been laughing at myself but I might possibly make more videos even though like this is the situation i don't know yet i really want to just because like i said it's the perfect time to do it but I, I don't know i want them to be like really good videos and like i don't want to feel insecure in them because i wanted to do like a clothing haul i got some new spring pieces and i don't know those types of videos i want to feel like my best in so i don't know um maybe i'll upload some stuff maybe not but i'm glad i at least got this video up so you guys could kind of see the results of the Botox, even though it wasn't a good one, but just <laughs> learn from my mistake, ask the questions, make sure you're seeing like the best person for this area, and I don't know. Anyways, I am so glad you guys watched this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and also if you are new here, it would mean so much to me if you would subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.